We are starting a new batch for mastering new ABAP 7.5 syntax along with REST API, XML parsing, JSON handling, and dynamic ABAP programming. Phew, that's a long name for any course, but we really wanted to highlight the keywords which we will learn and gain mastery after this training. SAP ABAP has evolved in leaps and bounds in recent years. ABAP programming is better than ever, and writing optimized, correct, clean new ABAP syntax is a niche in today's SAP ABAP programming. This course will surely help the experienced traditional ABAP developers to get their hands dirty in the innovative, fluidic, agile, and exciting new paradigm of SAP ABAP. Let us check in some more details what is store for the participants in this course. We will learn a lot of tips and tricks of ABAP development tool and Eclipse usage. Trust us. ABAP Development Tool is a charm and most developers do not know how to exploit it to the fullest. The trainer will help you explore the nooks and corners of ADT and Eclipse. OpenSQL is the heart of ABAP and we will show the enhanced OpenSQL and fetch some complex calculated data. Just to remind you, we have real-time hands-on assignments every week apart from the practical examples shown in the class. No copy-paste, the trainer will write each line of code live in the class, explaining the concepts and showing the exceptions. Have you used ABAP expressions in WHERE clause? Even if the answer is yes, we will show some real use case which you might have not thought of. Do you know about global temporary tables? Do not worry. We will introduce you to GTT or Global Temporary Table if you do not know it yet. Developers can also say goodbye to for all entries in the new ABAP if they want. We will learn how. Loop and Loop has a very tough competitor in the form of for loop. The trainer will show the real project usage of for loop in some dynamic data handling. The world-famous read statement can be replaced with the table expressions. We will make use of these expressions throughout our course and assignments. Concat with pipe, filter operator, reduce operator, condition and switch operators and many more will be covered. You can imagine what we all we, we will be learning in this new ABAP syntax. If that was not enough, we have some more interesting and exciting topics in the following days. For any client's business, integration with other SAP or non-SAP system is a very common requirement in today's process. And consumption of REST APIs have be become bread and butter of most ABAP developers. And Postman is a testing tool which every ABAP developer has to use it. In this course, the trainer will show the usage of Postman to consume REST API and then replicate the same in ABAP coding. In REST API, the trainer will show the usage of three authentication methods in SAP ABAP. They are the basic authentication, bearer token authentication, and API key authentication. Trust us, you will need these day in, day out going forward. XML parsing is one topic which was always there in SAP from the beginning but not many explore it either because they find it too difficult or they are afraid of the challenges. In this course, the trainer will tame XML parsing and help you understand the basics of XML parsing and its usage in SAP ABAP. Another object which most ABAP developers struggle is the JSON data handling. JSON, that is JSON. Do not worry, we will help you master JSON data usage and handling. You must have heard about serialization and deserialization of ABAP to JSON and JSON to ABAP. We will throw more light on this topic and make you more comfortable with real SAP ABAP programming. We are in the era of in-memory calculations and yet many SAP ABAP developers have not heard the term like RTTS, RTTI and RTTC. Before we conclude this course, we will have detailed classes, exercises, and assignments on dynamic ABAP programming using runtime type services, runtime type identification, and runtime type creation, that is, 
RTTS, RTTI and RTTC. If you really want to excel and get ready for the future, you need to learn at least this much new ABAP for future. And this course will be a small step to that wonderful journey of new, fresh, modern ABAP developments. Let us look into some important date, time and other information. The first day of the training is on January 15th, 2022 at 7.30 a.m. IST. This time is GMT plus 5.5 hours. So if you are in Europe, Africa or West Asia, you might not be able to join the live classes. This time suits better for participants from Indian subcontinent, East Asia, Australia, New Zealand, North and South America. The payment of the fee and enrollment process should be complete by 10th of January 2022. The link to enroll for this training and pay the course fee is in the description section of this video. Each class will be little over 2 hours and the whole course will be around 25 hours. For some reasons, if you are not able to join the live classes some days, do not worry. Recordings of the class will be provided after every live class and participants will have live time access to these recordings. The S4HANA 1809 server access will be provided till February 28, 2022. The server access is included in the training fee and you do not need to pay anything extra for it. Also, there is a prerequisite for this course that you need to have prior knowledge of normal SAP ABAP programming. We will not cover the basic ABAP and this course is not for freshers in SAP ABAP. If you still have any queries, questions, feel free to WhatsApp us at plus one two five one seven two seven nine two seven three or email us at mail zapyard at gmail.com or mail at zapyard.com. Wish you all happy holidays and a healthy new year. Thank you very much. Stay safe and see you live on the training day.